Hello everyone, I'm Kevin, otherwise known as FormBX257, and I've taken a page out of Star Wars Sandler's book and I'm doing my review outdoors. It's warm, it's obviously very sunny, so it's perfect for doing a Zartan review. And here we have the original box. You'll note the uh, file card has the term paranoid schizophrenic on here, and I believe some mental disability agency or organization had a problem with that, so Hasbro changed that, or, or rather just eliminated the text altogether. So there, there are two versions of this file card. And here is Zartan, the master of disguise. He comes with a small pistol and a backpack which opens up. His chest armor and leg armor are removable. Let's a quick look at his pistol. Just a just a small pistol. Doesn't doesn't seem to be uh, a replica of anything. Now, of course, he wouldn't be a master of disguise if it didn't open up and reveal that he comes with a false face. There's also some, uh, I guess, disguise makeup sort of molded into the bottom here. Yeah, don't pop this off completely. And you can put the face right into the folds of his hood. And, of course, He looks like somebody else wearing Zartan's clothes. And his chest armor, only the front pops off. And his thigh pieces pop off as well. They don't really click in, but the, um, I guess the friction tabs, they hold in rather well. Which is, rather, which is actually rather surprising. The reason why these have, uh, these clear see-through, I guess, windows on both the thigh piece and the chest piece is because you're supposed to put thermal labels on here. And here is a set of thermal labels. Uh, they weren't removed from the uh, sticker sheet. And the reason why that is is because uh, where is it? On, on, on the instructions uh, you're supposed to put these thermal labels on the insides of the clear plastic and when he's exposed to What is it heat? Yeah, unlike unlike the plastic of Zartan himself if you expose it to heat uh, They're supposed to change color and according also according to the text you get two of these thermal label sheets so I guess the previous owner of this Zartan that I've got uh, only applied one. They no longer seem to work, unfortunately. Zartan's chest, chest is changing blue, but his face is still remaining uh, a flesh color, which is a rather bizarre sight. Also of interest is the uh, Canadian file card, which doesn't leave room for the extra text. So I'm not sure if there was ever a second version of the Canadian file card which either included or removed the um, schizophrenic, uh, paranoid schizophrenic text. And here's Zartan on his swamp skier. The swamp skier is basically a uh, water jet, water jet ski, I guess. It was called the Chameleon for two reasons, however. Not only did it change color, but it came with a box and this, um, I guess, tow rope or tow cable. And you can transform it into a piece of junk. No, I'm not kidding. You really could. The uh, 
front forks actually did swivel and the back ends are somewhat articulated I guess and here is Zartan with his disguise on and his supposed box of junk As you can see, the Swamp Skier's skis actually do fit on the bottom of the box there to help him pull it along. And here we have Zartan and his Swamp Skier under glass. If you remove the glass and expose them directly to sunlight, can see Zartan changing color rather easily. And that was my review of the 1984 Zartan and his chameleon swamp skier. Thank you for viewing my review and I'll see you next week with the next vintage G.I. Joe toy review.